Hi everyone! This video is to demonstrate some functionality that I created to show and hide tabs on the ribbon in Microsoft Office. Um, in this case in Microsoft Word. So I created this add-in that I was hoping to sell at some point. Um, either the whole add-in or parts of the add-in or doing some courses to teach how to create some of this functionality. So anyway, this project had a lot of scope creep. <laughs> it became very large and it has a lot of functionality and so it has a lot of tabs. And at some point it became unwieldy. So I created this section over here to allow me to show and hide tabs as needed. So when the add-in opens, it has only these tabs visible. The file tab, which I don't think can be hidden. Um, this GenDoc tab, which is this tab we're looking at right now, which is like the home tab of my add-in. The home tab, which is the actual home tab of Word. <laughs> and then there's this joker here. This tab, uh, this design tab, is visible simply because I could not figure out how to hide it. So when you're working with tabs in Microsoft Office, in order to work with them, in order to manipulate them, you need to know the name of the tab. Um, and that is a code name for the tab. So this name here that you see displayed as the tab name, for the user is different than the name that is used in the code when you're referring to the tab in the code. And for this one, I just, for the life of me, could not figure out what the name of this tab was. Um, so you might say, you know, couldn't you figure out the name of the tab? Uh, Microsoft must have some kind of naming convention for their tabs. So based on that, couldn't you just guess what the name of the tab is? And you would think so, right? <laughs> you would think I'd be able to do that. But I couldn't because this tab is not named design. And there actually is another tab named design. Um, so if I click this one and you see, I click, I click the checkbox. That's how this works. It's pretty straightforward. You just click or uncheck a checkbox and it shows you the tab that you want to see. This tab, this draw tab, is actually named design in the code. And that's actually why this is called design. I need to change this at some point to say draw so that it, it accurately reflects what the user is expecting to see. But that's why it says design right now. So this tab is actually called design. This one, I have no idea what it's called. My best guess for how this happened is that there must have been an earlier version of Word in which this was the design tab. And then when they did a revamp, they changed this one to design or vice versa. And somehow an old name just stuck and it never got updated. I mean, that's just conjecture on my part. I have no idea why it's like that. But that's the only scenario that really makes any sense to me. So then you also might ask, well, couldn't you just find some documentation that tells you what the name of this tab is? And again, you would think so. <laughs> but, uh, you know, I have a list with all the tab names and this one is not on it as far as I could tell. And I couldn't find the name of this tab anywhere else either. So... I spent a lot of time trying to figure out what the name of that tab was and I couldn't do it. So at some point I had to just come to terms with the fact that I don't know what this tab is called and it's just always going to have to be visible and I'm just going to make my peace with that and move on with my life. <laughs> I chose not to make this my white whale. So this design tab is always visible. So moving on to talk about these sections here. So I have three sections. This section here is the tabs that are native to Word. 
this section is my main tabs that are kind of generic. Um, they're operations that are widely applicable to using Word. And then these are some tabs that are specific to people in the legal field because I started creating this add-in for uh, people that work in the legal profession. I'll just click them all and you can see what a mess it became. There's just so many. And it's it, it became to the point that when they all were visible, it was almost like none of them were visible because as you can see, I preface all of my tabs with GenDoc, the name of my add-in. And so I couldn't see what any of them were called. And so I created this section so that I could see the tabs. So I'm just going to hide most of these again so that we don't have this mess. So this works great as long as you're on this this tab here, this GenDoc tab. But when you switch to another tab, then you see I no longer have access to this. Which, you know, might be fine from a user standpoint because I don't know how often people would actually be switching tabs. And really it's not that hard. You just come back to this tab. But at some point during development, I said, this is a pain in the neck and I'm not going to do it anymore. <laughs> so I went to look for a solution to make it easier to change tabs when I'm not on this tab. And so I added these three icons up here. And these basically just represent these, these three sections here. So this is the tabs that are native to Word. These are the GenDoc tabs and these are the Law tabs. And so by doing this, I can show and add tabs easily even if I'm not on that GenDoc Home tab. Um, the only thing is if you have a lot of them shown, as you see when I click one, this kind of disappears and then I have to get the drop down again. So in that case, I like to come back here and just do it all at once. So that's about it. You can do this in any Microsoft Office product that you could manipulate the ribbon in. I just happen to need it in Word, so that's where I created it. So that's it. Thank you for watching my video.